Hi, Ray Balzer of Aim Pro Billiards. I have a pool shooting quiz for you. The first of many, I hope. The quiz will be based on an adaptation of my pool shooting game. I'll give you 10 shots. You need to figure out the right aim for center of the pocket and the right speed, basically for pocket speed. Let me briefly explain the speed numbers. It's different from what you're used to. The speed numbers are actually cue ball distance traveled numbers. So if I say two, it means when I shoot the cue ball with center ball, it'll go two diamonds. Six is six diamonds. If I had a giant table, a hundred means it would travel a hundred diamonds. But hitting cushions changes things a lot. Look at this chart and you'll get an idea of how much energy is lost on travel distance by bouncing off a cushion. But we're not doing cushions for position play. You need to know the speed as a way that you can understand. And the reason that you vary shot speed, of course, is because the balls vary in their distances. And when you shoot a thin cut shot, you have to shoot harder to make the object ball have enough speed to make it to the pocket. And you don't want to shoot too hard for two reasons. First, the pocket plays smaller at higher speeds. Secondly, you're likely to have more stroke error from not controlling your arm at higher speeds. Enough theory. Let's get going with the game with the 10 shots. Record your answers for each shot and I'll tell you what to do with them at the end. Have fun. Notice that there's no cut induced throw. So the quiz is asking you for the exact geometric angle without any throw compensation for now. Let's look at the cut angle choices. Whoa, so what gives with the weird angles? These are the angles that result from standard ball hit fractions, in this case, sixteenths. Geometrically, this gives us equal aiming increments. And I think that's a good thing. So let's play a rack of ten ball. Record your answer for the one ball cut angle and optionally its speed. Now let's get going on the two ball. Record angle and speed for the two ball. Let's get going on the three. Record your answers for the three. Let's go on the four. Record your answers for the four and let's go with the five.
Record your answers for the five and let's go with the six. Record your answers for the six. Let's go with the seven. Record your answers for the seven. Let's estimate the eight. That was eight. Let's go to nine. That was the 9, and now finally the 10. I plan to publish the solution video sometime in November. If you get a top score on this quiz, I'd like to publish your name. But I can only do that if you send me an email with your scores in time for when I publish. If you like this, look forward to future quizzes. And if you really like it, ask me about how you can get the game so you can play it every day.